Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. I am in the mood for some chicken wings. Fried chicken wings, old school style. Y'all know I love my air fryers. I got a couple of them. I use them on a daily. Not a daily. I use them on a weekly basis for certain things. But today I'm going old school. I'm going to marinate this chicken and bread it up in flour and fry it in some grease. I'm going old school big time. So let's get started here. Very simple how I do my fried chicken. You've never seen it before. I got a special, I call marinade for it. And I use a hot sauce. I'm telling you, this is the marinade we actually use. They still do use at my job where I recently retired from. Something I kind of come up with. And we use it to the day. I got some eggs in here. I got about three eggs in here. I'm going to add some hot sauce. Louisiana hot sauce, regular hot sauce. And it just gives the uh, chicken a distinct flavor. And buttermilk. Whole buttermilk, y'all. That's still three simple ingredients. That's gonna be my marinade for my chicken. I use this on chicken wings, chicken, whole chicken, whatever chicken I'm gonna fry. And I'm gonna mix this up really, really good. But it just, the buttermilk helps kind of give it a marinade. The hot sauce gives it the tang, and the eggs just helps it kind of coat a little bit better and get a little crispy. And I'm gonna bread it with self-rising flour. Not regular all-purpose self-rising flour. It's gonna give it a nice, distinct crispiness to it. Okay, now I need to marinate my chicken. Yeah, I'm gonna use kosher salt, white pepper. I'm use some of my shake here. And you know I use a sweet or spicier shake. Well, Uncle Steve shake, old school shake, however you want to say it. Y'all been following me enough. Y'all know I've been using this for a long time now. And got to have my Cavendish. Cavendish week season. That's all I use. I'm going to take this up. Season it all up here. Make sure it's completely mixed together. All oh, mixed really, really good, y'all. See that? Now, I'm going to take this chicken, add it in here with the buttermilk egg mixture, mix it all up together like this, and I'm going to let it hang out here. I like to do 24 hours if I can, but I'm going to let it hang out here for an hour. Let it marinate for at least an hour. The longer you do it, the better it is, but I like to do it at least an hour. And up to a day, and at the job where I used to do good work, we did it was 24 hours. We let it marinate, I'm telling you. And that marinade go all the way to the bone. It's absolutely amazing. So anyway, y'all, I'll still be back in about an hour. We're gonna bread this in self-rising flour, put it in the grease. You're gonna have a nice golden brown, crispy flavor to the bone chicken wings. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Okay. I let this set up a couple of hours. I actually let it sit outside and get like room temperature too. And look at that. Got a good marinade on it. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to drain the marinade off of here. Right here in the sink. <clears throat> Pour it back in the bowl here. And all I'm going to do in here, all I have in here, y'all, is self-rising flour. If you don't have self-rising flour, it's very easy. Very simple. Just get you some all-purpose flour, add a little baking powder to it, and that's it. That's all you gotta do. You put a little salt in it if you want, but you don't have to because the chicken is already seasoned. Okay, move y'all over here to the grease. There we go. And we're gonna fry this off just like this old fried chicken, y'all. Dust the flour off of there. Throw it right into the quad of grease, y'all. Nothing, nothing, uh, nothing hard about this, y'all. You're just frying some chicken. That's all you're doing. You're going to try it to this golden brown on each side. I like to do with these chicken wings. Don't take that long. Maybe 10 to 15 minutes on each side. 
and that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna step off here, get the rest of them in the skillet, get them fried off, and we'll be right back, probably when I turn them over. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes on that side. All I'm gonna do, y'all, just turn them over here. You see how pretty those are? All right, some golden brown. That's all we gonna do. Like I said, sometimes you gotta go through the old school way of cooking it. Right in the skillet, y'all. Right in the skillet. You know, kind of move them around, try to get the hot spot right there. We're going to let it do about 10, 15 minutes on this side. We're going to take them off. I got some more to put in. I got my, y'all know I like to put mine right here on my, my wire rack. I'm going to put on my wire rack right there. And we'll go from there, y'all. Just simple fried chicken wings, y'all. I'm doing the chips, too. You know little chips in there? Y'all see little chips right here? And you got the little chip in there. Let me turn it over. I ain't turn it over. Let's show it some love. There we go. Some people like the little chips, wing chips. So, anyway, y'all. Fried chicken wings. Can't get no better than this, y'all. Give me some ketchup and some white bread. That's all I need, y'all. So, anyway, y'all. We'll be right back when we're almost through with the process. We'll be right back. Old school fried chicken wings. Be right back. All right, y'all. We are back here. Look at this, y'all. Look at this here. A bowl of fried chicken here. Let me let y'all hear how crispy it is here. How crispy that is. See that crispy? Now, I've been on the phone here running my mouth, y'all. Let me show you how hot. I think this cooled down a little. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that, nice. Mm, 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 mm. Nice and juicy. Oh, look at it, coming off the bone cleanly. Look how juicy that chicken is, y'all. You know I wouldn't be, i just pick it up and eat it normally. Mm. And that marinade, y'all, went completely to the bone. Mm. See that, perfectly cooked. Juicy. Mm. I'm telling y'all, at my job I just retired from, this is how we used to do chicken. Every Wednesday night, we cook 250 to 300 pounds of chicken, eight piece cut, of course. We serve it like this, you order it like this, family style, and tell them how many pieces you want. You get a bowl of chicken, a basket of chicken, buttermilk biscuits, honey, corn fritter. Y'all never seen my corn fritter recipe? Go check out my recipe for old school corn fritter. You get carrots, string beans, all that. For like $19.95, y'all. For years. It was at the club when I started in 88. When I left, it's still going on. One thing I did, I changed the recipe for the chicken about 15 years ago so just uh, but that was the best deal in town and then it's packed in uh, my job on wednesday night chicken night one person all they do is uh fry chicken and my favorite part of the chicken y'all when they used to fry it you know the chicken thigh you know the little skin to be on the end of it i go by and that's all i want that little chicken skin to come off the chicken thigh and sometimes they're little when they fry the chicken they got the little chicken uh, uh, skin, I guess, that come off as they frying it in the grease. I know it ain't healthy, y'all. I used to eat them things like popcorn. Like I said, that's my favorite part of chicken. But yeah, Wednesday night, fried chicken, green, string bean, carrots, corn fritters, oh, mashed potatoes, gravy, buttermilk biscuit. You got all that for $19.95. Family style. They bring it to your table, all the side dishes, and stuff like that. You couldn't go wrong. So anyway, y'all, let me close this video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022, helping others with a purpose. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.